Hi everyone, Chris Tuck here, West Wickham Health and Fitness, survivorsofabuse.org.uk, Chris Tuck Motivational Speaker and Trainer.co.uk. Now, why am I sharing all of my websites with you? Well, my core purpose is body autonomy, health and wellness, recovery from trauma, raising awareness, educating and walking the walk, walking the talk, yeah? It's in my being, it's me and what I wanna put out to the world. So because power and control was taken away from me, all of my childhood, as an adult, I found my voice, I understood the trauma impact of being silenced, being abused mentally, physically, emotionally, sexually. That impact has affected all areas of my life. However, I have been fortunate enough to understand that trauma impact and that I can actually do something about it. So once I gained the knowledge, the education, the awareness, I was able to change things around for myself, for all of those people in my life, in my network, and I've been able to amplify my voice and my experiences to create change for others. That is my power that I understand is my gift, my legacy to anyone and everybody that comes in contact with me face to face, in person or online because of the videos that I put out there, the work that I do. So I understand that now. And I stand in my truth, in my power. And that is who I am, what I do, and it's in every cell and fibre of my body. So health and wellness is really key to fulfilling your potential and truly being able to be active in all parts of your life. If you haven't got your health, then everything is impacted. So self-care and looking after you and understanding your life's experiences and understanding that true impact on your mental and your physical self is empowering and it can lead to you owning and showing up in your own life and being true to yourself because health is your wealth, okay? It just is. And I do this in all areas of my life. It doesn't matter whether it's my community fitness business or if it's my campaigning or my activism or just standing up to the injustice that I see and I experience, okay? It comes down to individuals owning who they are, standing up for what is right for them and investing in your own self-care, your own self-worth, and that incorporates understanding the impact of who you are on your health and well-being. Um, it might sound a bit cryptic if you don't know me, if you haven't followed me, but it really is quite simple. Invest in your own health and well-being and you will stand in your own authenticity and own your your space guys it's all about that for me i really see it clearly now okay so if you're a professional 
and you've been impacted. Vicarious trauma, secondary trauma, because of the work that you do with people that are suffering from primary trauma, okay? It's really important that you understand the impact of what you see, what you hear, and what you experience. And you are then able to deal with all of that so that it doesn't impact your mental and your physical health to a point where it makes you have a breakdown. I've been there. I've done that. Okay, I've got the t-shirt. And so it's really important that you understand the work-life balance, that you understand that even if you cannot give up what you're doing because you love it, because it's important to you, that's a conclusion that I've come to, that you need to put additional self-care in place. Now, I do speak about trauma and its impact. I speak about primary trauma, secondary trauma, vicarious trauma, and what we can do to navigate the negative effects of that and how we can feel empowered to make sure that we are healthy and well and that we can continue to do the work that we are doing. So yesterday, being nominated for a global award is fantastic. The opportunities that I've been given to speak up about my charity and its work, about self-care, about just looking after yourself holistically so we can carry on doing the work that we are doing is really, really important. And I think the message is slowly getting out there about, you know, as I said, the self-care and the impact of vicarious trauma and employers actually really understanding that they can cultivate a culture of trauma-informed practitioners and trauma-informed culture is really, really important in carrying on um, the product productivity of the company. Anyway, I have clients turning up now for their Pilates session, so I'm going to stop talking now and I will speak to you all very soon. Bye for now.